Hello children, today I will teach science chapter 1. The name of the chapter is Living and Non-Living Things. So I will start reading the chapter to, ex to explain you. <clears throat> Living and Non-Living Things. There are different types of things around us. Some of these things are living while some are non-living. Plants and animals are examples of living things. Rocks, rivers, tables and pens are examples of non-living things. So living things like plants and animals, they are the living things. But rocks, rivers and tables, they cannot move for that. That's why it is non-living things. Now we will see the features of living and non-living things. Means we will see the character, uh, characteristics of living and non-living things. Based on their features, living things can be differentiated from non-living things. Living things breathe, move on their own, grow, need food, feel and reproduce. Non-living things do not breathe, move on their own, grow, need food, feel and reproduce. So here, <laughs> here it in, the, in this line, it has been explained that Living things can move on their own, they can breathe, they can grow, they can feel, they can produce, reproduce of their own. But here non-living things, they cannot do anything on their own or they can move on their own. So if the non-living things just like stone, they cannot move. To make them move, you human beings need to make them move. Now we will see living things breathe. All living things breathe. They need air to breathe. Human beings breathe through their nose. Fish breathe through gills. Insects such as cockroaches and caterpillars have air holes called spiracles present on their body through which they breathe. Plants also breathe through tiny openings called stomata present on their underside of the leaves. In this line it has been explained that <clears throat> human beings breathe through their nose and fish also they breathe through gills. But insects here such as cockroaches and caterpillars have holes they are called spiracles which are present on their body with that they breathe. But for us human beings they breathe through their nose Caterpillars here, they breathe through their bodies. So differences are there. Plants also breathe through tiny openings called stomata. Here in the plants also, they are living so they can breathe in another way. They have their openings called stomata. Now children, I'll show you the diagram how plants take in air through stomata. So here you can see the leaves and in the diagram I have shown here, that leaves small small holes are there from that they take in carbon dioxide and leave oxygen so these are the small holes how they are, they take in carbon dioxide and the second diagram you can see caterpillars breathe through spiracles there are small holes on the body on the caterpillars body from that they take in air these are the two diagrams now I'll move on to the next part that living things can move animals in search of food water and shelter animals move from one place to another human beings move using their legs birds use their wings to fly and fish move with fins so here animals if they have to look for the food they have to move from one place to another but human beings they can move with their legs to do anything. Birds, if they have to move from one place to another, they have to fly with their wings. And fish, they have to move in the water, they have to use fins. Now you can see plants. Plants do not move from one place to another as they are fixed at one place with the help of roots. So plants, if they try to move from one place to another, they, but they cannot move. They are fixed in one place. Now you can see non-living things. Non-living things do not move on their own. 
they have to be moved by some living beings non living things just like stone pen pencils if you have to move you have to make them move from one place to another human beings have to assist them to move from one place to another but on their own they cannot move now living things grow animals all living things grow with the passage of time a, ba a baby grows into an adult a caterpillar grows into a butterfly a tadpole grows into a frog etc so here animals they are living things they grow with the time baby grows that will take few years to grow into adult caterpillars that will take few weeks to grow and butterfly also and tadpole also take time to grow into an adult plants you can see a seed grows into a seedling and then into a plant a seed from that that grows is to a small plant will come out that is called a young plant and after that that become an adult plant now let's move on to the next part that is lifespan all living things live up to a certain age called lifespan the lifespan of living things varies means here it is given that we have certain age of living things and it changes from time to time so for example the lifespan of a dog is 10 to 12 years but a butterfly lives for around 20 to 30 days human beings have a lifespan of 70 to 80 years so here in the example it is given that the lifespan of a dog is 10 to 12 years they can live for 10 to 12 years after that they die butterfly lives for around 20 to 30 days so they have this lifetime 20 to 30 days after that they die human beings have a lifespan of 70 to 80 years the <coughs> even human beings can stay for they can live for 80 years or more than that this is a lifespan it is given according to the science non living things do not usually have a lifespan so non living things like stone pen pencil table they don't have that lifespan they can live for many years living things need food to survive so living things need food to remain alive and grow so all living things need food to stay alive without having food they cannot stay alive plants can prepare their own food with the help of air water and sunlight so how they ma <coughs> manufacture food with the help of air water and sunlight animals cannot make their own food they get their food from plants or other animals so animals they cannot make their own food just like plants they have to move from one place to another to get food so that they can survive non living things do not need food means they will stay for many years without having a food so these are the difference now let's move on to another part living things feel changes around them living things can feel the changes around them human beings feel changes with the help of sense organs such as ear eye nose tongue and skin insects such as butterflies and grasshoppers feel changes around them through special body parts called antenna these antenna are present on their heads for example ants and butterflies smell and taste with the help of their antenna which help them to locate food tigers and dogs have a good sense of hearing falcons and hawks have a good eyesight and can see their prey from very far cats use their whiskers to feel movement around them so here you can see the humans can feel they have senses they have uh, ears to hear eye to see nose to feel tongue to taste and skin they have that feeling the skin they can feel insects such as butterfly grasshoppers they can feel with their antenna and which they where their antenna is present in their head 
example ants and butterflies they have they can smell they can taste with the help of the antenna but as human beings they taste with their tongue but here they it is different they have to taste with the antenna now you'll see plants do not have sense organs but feel the changes around them for example when we touch mimosa touch me not plant it closes its leaves non living things do not feel changes around them so here plants you can see they have sense organs they can feel the changes around them like example is given mimosa if you touch mimosa plant that will closes its leaves and after some time it open its leaves on its own but non living things not feel any changes around them if you touch it nothing will affect them living things reproduce the process by which living things produce more of their own kind is called reproduction means reproduction means what you are giving a duplicate of yourself this reproduce you, have, you can produce some another some living things reproduce by giving birth to young ones and some by laying eggs so how reproduction take place by giving birth to the babies or to the young ones or by laying eggs you can see animals animals such as fish snakes frogs and lizards as well as birds such as hens parrots and ducks reproduce by laying eggs the young ones are called hatchlings you can see fish snakes frogs and lizards and birds hens parrots they can reproduce reproduce by giving lay eggs and their young ones are called hatchlings animals such as lions deer cows and human beings give birth to the young ones so here it is different from here your lions they give birth to a baby cows also give birth to a baby and human beings also give birth to a baby so here there is a difference plants will see different plants reproduce in different ways most plants reproduce through seeds that grow into new plants some plants have seeds inside their flowers conifers grow from cones whereas ferns and mo mosses has spores on the underside of of leaves so you can see the plants they can reproduce they they reproduce through the seeds and grow into new plants and some plants have seeds inside their flowers also conifers it means it's a it's a evergreen trees and it uh, grows in cool areas and they bear cones whereas ferns and mosses have spores and they have spores they have uh, holes in their uh, uh, surface of the leaves now we'll move on to the next part that mm. is we'll see the difference between the living and non living things living things first we'll see living things need food air and water but here non living things you will find non living things do not need food air and water this is a difference between two second part second one you can see living things grow but here non living things do not grow so the this is the difference number 3 living things can move on their own but here non living things cannot move on their own number 4 living things reproduce but here non living things do not reproduce number 5 we'll see living things have a definite life span but here non living things do not have a definite life span number 6 number 6 you can see living organism excrete means the living thing living things they can take out the waste but non living things do not take out the waste number 7 you can see example human beings plants and animals an example of this one is book pencil and a sector these are the <coughs> two differences of living and non living things so now we can see few questions i have given for you answer this question how does fish breathe what is the importance of food in living things 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हाउ डज कॉकरेज ब्रीद एंड फील क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वाई डू एनिमल्स मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर सो दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू फाइंड द आंसर्स एंड यू हैव टू राइट इन द रफ कॉपी आफ्टर दैट आई डिस्कस इन द क्लास एंड देन यू देन आई आई विल गिव यू दी आंसर्स